What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial, today we are continuing with the RPG tutorial series and in this episode we will implement blocking. It's going to be a very easy video to follow so let's get started. <laughs> Alright, so the first thing that we're going to be doing is just making that by default we don't have the bow animations on that we kind of missed that when we implemented the bow and arrow system. So let's go and quickly enter in the blueprints folder and open up BPC attack system. And if we select the has bow variable, we can see that it is enabled indeed. So let's just disable this. Now, maybe you already, you know, have it disabled from the past but in our case i had to do so and now i don't have that bow animation by default all right so right now what we can do is you know pick up a shield from the ground go to our inventory and select it and we equip it on our back but now what we are going to be doing is that if we hold the right mouse button we will kind of put the shield on our right arm and we'll just play a little you know kind of blocking animation and you know we will kind of just make sure that we cannot receive any uh, big attacks um, and that will be in the next episode and this episode will implement kind of the state and animations okay so the first thing that we're gonna be making is that you know we can uh, basically put our shield at the right hand so for this what I am going to do is go and uh, just import the animation of blocking so let's go to characters RPG character animations and we have a whole bunch of them. I think that we can actually put it on maybe locomotion uh, But I'm gonna have to create a new folder. Let's call this, you know, blocking Just in case we want to add more things in the future and let's import this animation that I will be linking in the description Click reset to default select the mannequin of Unreal SK mannequin and press import and now boom we should have this animation and no okay so it <laughs> all right so what i did was basically go ahead and um modify the animation but it seems that when i exported the animation it didn't work but it's okay we can work it out here so <laughs> sorry about that um so uh what we're going to do is just go to the characters mannequins animations many and then we're gonna see this idle animation basically press ctrl d to duplicate this all right and just name this to be blocking and now let's move this blocking animation into the blocking where is it uh folder that we just created so move here cool and let's remove the mm so basically we just need to slightly modify the animation how do we do this well let's go to the skeleton tree okay and select down here the clavicle R, which is kind of the shoulder. And with this, with snapping enabled, I guess, or, you know, yeah, uh, we can just rotate this maybe like around 75 degrees and move the kind of cursor at the start and press key. And now we have a new keyframe with the um, arm like this. And now we're gonna do the same with the load arm. Let's kind of put it like this, rotate it and around here press key again and now we have this animation kind of blocking okay i can now open this up and we have still this animation sorry i want to leave it ready but i quickly exported it and it seems that the keyframes didn't export correctly but it's okay like you can see we can edit this animation in two seconds and now you knew uh you learned how to do this which is pretty cool all right so what i got to do is make a new state in the animation blueprint on RP character animations ABP RP character which will be basically blocking uh, so let's go to where we want which should be on uh, we have main and the locomotion it will be on locomotion we have idle walk run stop and so on in our case let's go to idle we have two different types of idle but right after that we are going to be passing the you know uh, animation of locking so let's go ahead and just put this here blocking drag it uh, and this will be another boolean right if we are blocking so it'll be like um is blocking and boolean and we're gonna do another blend poses by bool so if this is uh true we'll go through here and if not we will go through here okay and there we go 
so now if we are blocking we will play that animation instead now of course right now if we enable blocking uh you know when we are idle this will work so let's copy these three nodes but we are, we are when we're moving our feet needs to move you know so right on here let's paste this here and we are going to do one little thing which is to kind of make the animation um, additive and maybe we need to later split the body but i think that making it additive will work so we're going to say mesh space we can put this on scaled and find the idle animation uh which should be um, mm idle this one okay save close and this should be going correctly now make sure to select this and click loop animation let's do the same with idle okay i forgot about that and now we are good to go. So what we're going to do now is go to the third person input folder actions, right click and create a new input action. Basically, let's create something as block. We can leave everything as default, but now in the collection, we need to add this new mapping. And this new mapping will of course be block. So when we press the right mouse button, of course you can put whatever key you want. We're gonna go into the uh, third person character blueprint. All right, let's open this up and I am going to go and just introduce here an IA underscore block, okay? So when we start to press it, we will create a new variable, which is is blocking and is blocking will basically be set to true. Now, let me also just put this uh, question mark here. Okay, so is blocking will be true and on completed when, you know, we stop pressing the right mouse button, we will set it to false. Great, with that, we need to update the variables in the animation blueprint, so we can go to the event graph and here on, you know, swimming and so on, we can also just uh, get the character and then say get uh, blocking, right? Uh, and then set is blocking from here to here, compile. And now when I press the left mouse button, you can see that the character disappears. Why? Because we are not playing an uh, additive animation. So we need to go uh, back to the auto state here. You can see here blocking blend poses by bull. We need to do additive, play mesh space additive. And the additive, the other one will be basically this uh, idle break. Okay. Uh, actually, it will be the other way around. Base and additive will be the blocking. Okay. And we can leave everything as default here. So now, yes, when we block, you can see we now are blocking. Now, uh, for this one, I am going to go ahead and just, uh, sorry, copy. And also put it on the walk run. And just paste this on true and delete blocking from here. And now also when we move, you will see that we can also block. Uh, now, okay, our feet aren't moving why that's because we are not going to be using this idle uh, but this uh, locomotion blend space okay so this will uh, go here uh, actually we uh, need to kind of copy the whole thing and really uh, paste it here and put it on base okay so now yes do you know to have leaning too uh, we can move now <laughs> the body moves a lot so um, I'm gonna kind of change this a bit and instead of, um, you know, we can change the alpha and so on. But what I prefer to do is to go ahead and do a different thing, uh, which is to instead of do an apply mesh additive is to do a blend per bone, okay? A layered blend per bone. And now we can split the body in two. So this will be here. This will be the base pose. Uh, I need this over here, sorry. Okay. There we go. And now when I move, that should be much better. Let's just add a, you know, bone to split, which should be like spine zero two, something like that. And then for the, you know, uh, idle, I am going to delete this. Just plug in blocking. All right. And then uh, open blocking and set the additive to no additive okay so you can see that with additive we can kind of add animations to the top 
but we can also split the body in two and that way we are blocking and our feet looks good and our kind of arm is more straight which is what we are interested in right now so we just covered two ways on how we can do this and we just saw that using uh, the blend per bone split the body in two works better than going ahead and uh, additive animations right good so now that we have the animations working we need to change the shield over here so for this what i am going to do is go to the skeleton of the character which is under mannequins uh, meshes skeleton and let's add a new socket for our shield in this case this shield uh, which i cannot select but is here uh, back shield in details panel has this 0.75 of scale let me copy this and i'm gonna put this on another play so preview preview animation uh, this will be blocking there we go let's go ahead and pause this and now go to the right hand and around how's this shield around on the forearm i'm gonna put it so where is it uh there we go off lower arm and i think that's the um, armor arm oh we can put the oh no yeah no that will not work okay yes yeah, put it on lower arm and more to here or also we could put it on the more to the hands and hand are yeah i think it will work and put it more to the to the back so at socket on the hand this will be something as um shield equipped and then we can right click add preview asset search for our shield and then paste the relative scale in here and kind of rotate this around 175 degrees will work put it more to the front and you know this will work i think pretty good uh, maybe you can rotate a bit like this and boom Good, so now what we can do is go here and we can get the back shield, right? I'm gonna change the name instead of back shield to USB shield because we're gonna be changing its uh, socket. So what we can do is say attach component to component and in this case we want to put it on uh, the mesh parent, right? But on the socket of, uh, how was it? It was like uh, shield equipped, okay. So it will snap to shield equipped and I think that we can leave everything as relative it's paste copy paste this put this here and in this case the shield will go back to where it is right now which is back underscore shield back underscore shield good so now in theory our shield should you know should go uh, like a front and out the back if we go ahead and equip it there we go so now it is at the front and now it's at the back as you can see we can uh, go ahead and manage to equip it and then equip it which is pretty cool and now the only thing that i am going to do is reduce the character's speed uh, so i am going to go here and get the movement component and say get a uh, max walk speed okay uh, and only do this if we are not crouching, okay? So crouched, not boolean, okay? So we are not crouched, gonna get the character speed and save it in a variable which will be speed before um, going ahead and just, you know, uh, <clears throat> uh, blocking, okay? And then with that saved, I'm gonna get this and set the max walk speed and this will be something as i don't know how much is it right now it is 500 let's put like 250 right and then when we finish this um we're gonna go ahead and just put if we are not blocking the max walk speed to be now the one that we say which is speed before blocking and now with that said, I just need to connect the character movement component to this and boom. Now we should walk slower. So like this, when I block slower and then I continue. And of course, if we do this now with the shield, it should look much better. Let me just go ahead and just equip this. 
boom boom and there we go we can go ahead and plug and you know it looks pretty cool we go slower and everything just works so that's it guys so if you found this tutorial helpful i would really appreciate it you could like the video and subscribe to my channel i have lots of unreal into five videos and tutorials so check them out remember they have full access to the prep files of the series through patreon and youtube members uh check out my new course with game that to be how to win stealth game in unreal uh also uh follow me on my socials and now yes well i said bye bye